Good afternoon. We have a lot of energy in this room. We're going to get started in just a minute. Ah, I have everyone's attention. Yay. I am Interim Dean Lori Popejoy, and I am so thrilled to see all of you. What, how amazing is this? It is something else. So thank you so much for being here today. We so appreciate your presence. And I want to set, give a special thank you to Curator Chapman, President Choi, Dr. Richard Barone, Dr. Nim Chin Nama, I'm sorry, I think I'm, Dr. Judith Fitzgerald Miller, and Dr. Roxanne McDaniel. We are. And I want to recognize some donors to the University of Missouri Sinclair School of Nursing. Again, Dr. Judy Fitzgerald Miller, Mike and Millie ba Brown, Carol Elman, Donna and Dick Otto, Marilyn and Wally Rance, Marilyn and Jim, Mary and Jim Beck. Thank you so much for your generous contributions to this amazing building. Anna Campan Romero is here as well, and I think many of you knew her. She probably worked with you quite a bit, and she was with Sinclair School of Nursing for several years. And we would not be standing here today without our generous donors, and we so appreciate you. I cannot tell you, after being separated with, for three years, how amazing it feels to be here. I keep using that word, but that's what it feels like to me. What an accomplishment. The vision and fund development for the building began with Dean Emeritus, Judy Miller. She passed her vision on to Dean Sarah Thompson, and Sarah made that vision a reality. She moved us forward from the design and approval of the building to here we stand right now. I want to recognize the hardworking committee that came together back in 2018 to begin planning this space. Robin Harris, Deidre Wipke Tevis, and Dina Higby. And I can't forget Bill Martin, who has seen us through the building construction, multiple moves, financing, working with contractors, and working with our MU liaison, Cindy Cornette. And I cannot thank our faculty, staff, and students enough for working with us throughout the three years of homelessness, who helped us in any way that was needed. Their patience and their support is deeply appreciated. And it is now my honor to welcome curator Daryl Chapman. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Good to see you. Um, thank you, Dean Popejoy, for that. Um, it's great to be here on such a momentous occasion at the University of Missouri. Looking at this incredible facility, I am truly in awe. The Sinclair School of Nursing is an incredible resource, not only for the University of Missouri system, but for every citizen in this state. When the Board of Curators approved this project, it was with the knowledge that it would be the kind of cutting edge facility that would enable the best nursing education and research possible. The buy-in from our alumni and friends and our faculty, staff, and students has made that vision a reality. A strong school of nursing is key to the University of Missouri's land-grant mission. The better the education we provide to our nursing students, the better they will be able to serve patients across the state in rural and urban communities alike. A strong Sinclair School of Nursing is, critical, is a critical part of our stated goal to do our part to improve health outcomes and quality of care in Missouri. Sinclair joins a host of resources, including NextGen Precision Health, MU Healthcare, and the MU School of Medicine in providing quality research and care to benefit all Missourians. And that's before we take into account the resources UMSL, UMKC, and Missouri S&T bring to the table. This facility also is integral to the Board of Curators' commitment to student success on all of our campuses. We were all students at one point in time, and many of you have kids of your own who are students at one of our um, great universities. It is so important that we do all that we can to support them while they are seeking their degrees. They have trusted us to give them a top-notch education. 
This facility is just one of many improvements we're making across the UM system to give our students the best chance to succeed. I am proud to represent the Board of Curators today in congratulating the University of Missouri on this great milestone. It is now my privilege to welcome University of Missouri President Moon Choi to the platform. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I had another set of remarks. I forgot to bring them. Uh, so <laughs> let me try to do this from memory. Uh, let me first start off by saying that I appreciate the strong leadership of this university by curator Daryl Chapman and members of the Board of Curators who have been very consistent in their vision and their message about what this university needs to accomplish. In September of 2018, the board affirmed its support for next-gen precision health. And you saw about a year ago the dedication of the next-gen precision health building named after Senator Roy Blunt. This building is the next installment, the next investment that shows that nursing is critically important for precision health and that we need to have more collaboration between among nursing, School of Health Profession, School of Medicine, and MU Healthcare, as well as our sister universities throughout the state of Missouri to meet the very important needs that we have. This incredible school has had a history that's over 100 years. And last week, I had this incredible opportunity to meet Edith Harrington, who graduated in 1945, and she's I think I can say this. She's 99 and a half years old, and she was a nurse cadet during World War II. And she talked about the caring, the caring level of support provided by the faculty at that time, and that continues. This school, Sinclair School of Nursing, has produced more nurses than any other in the state of Missouri. And our graduates are highly desired because of their rigorous training and the compassionate clinical training that they receive as part of their overall education. And our faculty members are leading world-class projects in geriatrics to pediatrics to most advanced sensor systems so that we can all learn to live a healthy life going forward. But this day would not have been possible without the vision that was established by the board and the administrators the hard work, the hard work from our donors in providing that level of support so that we can realize that vision and the faculty, students, and staff that will help make that vision come true. The vision for the Sinclair School of Medicine, School of Nursing, <laughs> School of Nursing is to become that transformative institution known for education, research, innovation, and outreach. And I know that there is a great degree of expectation from Missourians as well as elected officials for us to achieve that vision, but I know we're going to do it because we have the talent here at this university to accomplish that. Before I get off the stage, if I can ask the donors who contributed to this incredible building, if they can stand and be recognized. Don't be bashful, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. In addition to the donors, the support from the state, as well as the support from the School of Medicine and MU Healthcare to make this possible. So I'd like to ask, I'd like to thank Dr. Rich, Richard Barron, as well as uh, CEO of the hospital, Nim Chanaya, for their support as well. It's a great partnership, and let's keep it going. Thank you. So I would like to introduce Dr. Susan Gilley. She was a graduate of our nursing school, a BSN, 1964. 
She's a great niece to Charles and jo Josie Smith Sinclair. She's a lifelong learner, earning multiple degrees, including her PhD in higher education administration, and she has a family nurse practitioner degree. I think you're a family nurse practitioner. I don't, get, I don't think you ever give it back. Yeah. She has dedicated her life to the advancement of nursing and cancer prevention. And ironically, on this day, on October 14th in 1994, a ceremony was held at the university to celebrate naming of the nursing program, the Sinclair School of Nursing. So the Charles and Josie Smith Sinclair School of Nursing is in recognition of their very generous contributions to this school. So I'd like to welcome you to the podium. I am pleased to be here with my cousins. Um, in, here in the front row, we have Debbie Hatfield and Diana Krasno, and we are our grandmother was, oh, sorry. Our grandmother was um, a sister to Charles Sinclair. So we're all, we go back a little ways. And so <laughs> really, we're very pleased uh, to be here and, and so pleased that our, our family could have contributed to this, this the, you know, Sinclair endowment. And um, so that, um, briefly, I guess I wanted to say just something about Charles Sinclair. Though he died in 1959, his, his specialty was the purchase, raising, and sale of livestock, of which he was one of the largest in mid-Missouri. And he, of course, he had a large number of acres that were south of uh, Columbia. He had several uh, accidents in his life that meant that in his later years, he had a nurse that took care of him full time. So that when he decided, what to do with his estate, he said it should go to a home for nurses. Because, but he knew it should go to nursing. He knew it, okay? And so, we, though he died um, in 1959 at 84, the prop, um, they, it, it kind of, I, there were a lot of discussions about it of what should do with this, but it really didn't get solved. And so my, I think the nursing was discussing this, but my father, Joseph Kaysen, was, was felt, felt like his uncle's will had not been carried out. It was, it, the farm was still there, and so something needed to be done. And he, of course, he knew that his daughter had graduated from that school of nursing. So at any rate, um, he knew a lawyer here in Columbia, and the lawyer then started talking with the dean of school of nursing, and then the whole ball got rolling, and they got a court to change it from a home for nurses to the school of nursing. So. At any rate, and as, as the, the dean so aptly said, you know, it's, it's very unique that it is the same day, October 14th, 1994, when the initial dedication. And so here we are in, in a whole new building with wonderful capacity. And so, at any rate, the thing that I would like to add, though, is from 1995, more than 550 scholarships have been given from the Sinclair, Sinclair, Sinclair Endowed Scholarship Funds. So I think, I feel very pleased that that could be done. Thank you. Next, I'm gonna introduce Emily Moss. Emily is the president of the Missouri chapter of the Student Nurses Association. And we have an amazing one here. She comes to Mizzou from a small town in Adams County, Illinois, Menden, population 872. She's a six semester student and a bright example of the future of the Mizzou nursing program. So welcome, Emily. Good afternoon. My name is Emily Moss, and I'm the president of the Student Nurses Association and a junior nursing student here at the University of Missouri. I would first like to thank you for being here today, as well as thank those that gave me the opportunity to speak with you. I joined SNA my first semester of freshman year here at Mizzou and never could have predicted how positive of a benefit it would have had on me. As I'm sure all of you recall, we were still in lockdown during the fall of 2020 and my classes, as well as many others, were online. The Student Nurse Association gave me safe access to a community through virtual monthly meetings and remote service opportunities. As a freshman in college, two hours from home, this group was instrumental in my success. This organization has given me an abundance of opportunities to improve myself, receive mentorship, network, and improve my understanding of the field of nursing as well as gain confidence. I'm frankly not quite sure what Donna Otto saw in me, 
but I'm incredibly thankful for the chance that she took and the trust she has placed in me. Because of her and SNA, I was given the tools to feel prepared, not only when applying for the nursing program, but throughout my entire academic experience here with Sinclair. As many of you know, nursing school is no joke. It is without a doubt one of the most challenging yet rewarding things I have ever had the honor of being a part of. Thankfully me, for me and many others, I get to study and grow within a program that prioritizes me and my development as a future nurse. Your success is truly the core of Sinclair, which is evident through the resources provided, truly remarkable professors who adamantly work to enhance our education, staff that goes above and beyond to acquire opportunities for us, and all of you here today to support the pro program and students that benefit from it. The dedication to our education is evident in all aspects of learning as a Sinclair nursing student. It can be viewed in the classroom, at clinical rotations, during office hours, and as clear as day in our statistics. I feel privileged that I get to utilize and appreciate this new building as a student and benefit from the tools it provides both in the classroom and simulation center. Through the knowledge and skills I have gained through SNA and the Sinclair School of Nursing, I know that I will be prepared for any challenges that come my way when I proudly walk across that stage next January. I realize I've said thankful many times throughout my speech, but is unable to do justice when expressing how I feel about this program. I want to thank all of you again for being here and for your support of future nurses like myself. It truly means the world to have each and every one of you in our corner as we pursue our passion in this remarkable field. Thank you. I'm getting to closing remarks. So thank you again, Curator Chapman, President Choi, Susan, Dr. Gilly, and Emily for your wonderful remarks and a testament to the critical need for nurses and the Sinclair School of Nursing. As President Choi has stated, we have a strong foundation of excellence at the Sinclair School of Nursing that dates back to 1901 when Parker Memorial Hospital Training School was first established to educate nurses. In 1950, the university approved a, program <clears throat> for, approved a program within the School of Medicine that would lead to a Bachelor's of Science of Nursing. And in 1973, we became an autonomous school of nursing and moved into the first new building in 1979. That building was demolished. <clears throat> and in 2019, to construct the amazing space you are standing in today. Our new home brings with it advanced technology to educate our students and to keep our competitive edge in the industry. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, the, the air has gotten to me. Thank you. My nurse Marsha took care of me. <laughs> A collaborative space for our faculty and researchers to work with colleagues from the University of Missouri Healthcare the School of Medicine and the School of Health Professions. Across campus with our many academic partners. I am a researcher, I have many of those, and I adore, I love working with them. And with our peers nationally and internationally. This building and these enduring collaborators are a testament to the profound impact nurses have on healthcare outcomes for Missourians and around the world. Our, our faculty and students leave here and continue to improve the health of people everywhere. We are essential. We have increased our enrollment by 30% over the last four years. We have graduated the highest number of students in the history of our combined programs in 21-22 academic year. We are developing a faculty practice to serve the citizens of Missouri and our rural areas. We are in a position to move forward and continue to grow, educate, and innovate, standing on the shoulders of the giants who have come before us. And now we go to work in this amazing space, educating the next generation of educators, leaders, researchers, and innovators, the next Mizzou nurse. We would now like to invite the chamber, donors, the Sinclair family, our leaders, and elected officials to stand with the curator and the president in the symbolic gesture of cutting the ribbon. One, two, three. <laughs>